Today we will be showing you how to replace a tape drive in an IBM 3555 tape library, also called a TS4300. This replacement will not require library downtime. However, any backups running to the drive will need to be put on hold for the duration of the replacement. Additionally, if the drive you are replacing is the control path drive, you will need to ensure that no commands will try and access the library through this drive during the replacement. First, you will want to verify the faulty drive is empty before removing it from the library. If there is a tape in the drive, use the operator panel or web GUI to move the cartridge out of the drive to a storage slot or mail slot. If this is a fiber channel connected drive, you will also want to verify the worldwide name of the drive before removing it so that if the fiber drives are in a zoned fiber environment, you can obtain the worldwide name of the new drive and pass both worldwide names to the fiber admin for rezoning if necessary after the replacement is complete. Locate the drive that you need to replace. First remove the data cable going to the drive. Then you can loosen the two thumb screws that hold the drive in place. Once they are fully loosened, you can push in the lock lever and pull the drive straight back and out of the library. Now you can take the replacement drive and line it up with the guide rails in the empty drive bay. Push the drive in completely, seating it firmly in the drive bay, making sure that the lock clicks. Then tighten the two thumb screws, securing the drive to the back of the library. Install the data cable going to the drive before returning to the front of the library. Now go into the web GUI and perform a reset on the drive. This will allow the drive to obtain its IP address and dynamic information from the library. Then verify that the library can see the drive correctly and clear any tickets associated with the faulty drive. Also, if this is a fiber channel connected drive, please obtain the worldwide name of the replacement drive so you can pass it along with the worldwide name of the faulty drive onto the fiber admin for rezoning if necessary. Now you will need to reconfigure your backup software to see the replacement drive. For our purposes, since we use Semantic Backup Exec, we simply need to restart the software services so that the tape services can detect the replacement drive. Your software procedure may be different. Any questions about backup software should be directed to your software support or manufacturer. If you are having issues completing the drive replacement procedure or the replacement tape drive does not fix your errors, please contact us at support at and we will be happy to assist you.